Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, although I'm Indian, I'm not a guru. Okay. But I'd like to think of myself as a messenger, uh, not a messenger of God, um, but a messenger of scientists. I'm a scientist myself, and uh, there's a lot of work going on in the field of happiness, and I want to give you the summary of that field. We only have one day to together. Uh, it's a big topic. I'll do my best to give you the main themes of the topic. Okay, I'm going to show you some data now. There is a stream of research called functionality of happiness, and what that stream of research finds is that we are most productive when we are happy. There are three big reasons for this. One reason is that happier people are healthier. Happier people live longer. Okay, that's the first figure that um, is uh, on the screen. Happier people are also more collegial. Happier people get along better with other people. Okay, those who raise their hands for this question, uh, you feel that uh, you're more productive when you're unhappy. I want to ask you a question. Uh, who would you rather be a partner with in a team? Somebody who's unhappy or somebody who's happy? Huh? Happy? Right? So you think that it's better to get along with people who are happy. Okay, what does it mean? That you think that they are more cooperative, they build on your ideas, they are more productive in the end. And that, in fact, turns out to be the case. That a lot of research finds that happier teams outperform unhappier teams. And finally, people are more creative. People are more productive when they're happy than when they're not happy. In fact, the research shows that your productivity is going to increase by 9% if you're a happier person than if you're an unhappier person. Okay, this is what the research shows. A lot of studies from all around the world. Okay, now if somebody told you that I have an intervention for you that is gonna increase your profits by 9%, you'd be like, tell me what it is, right? It turns out that being a happier person is that intervention. It can actually increase your profits by 9%. Why is it? Because happier employees are more satisfied, happier employees are more engaged, happier employees have higher morale, and we know that all these factors are very, very important in increasing your um, productivity, and therefore the profits. Okay, so I have another exercise for you guys. Um, I want to measure your happiness level. So this goes to this gentleman's question. What do you mean by happiness, right? Very, very important question. So I'm going to ask you guys to fill out a scale, but before I um, show you that scale, I want to uh, very briefly mention um, that there are two kinds of happiness that you can generally think about. One is, how am I feeling right now? Do I have a headache? Um, do I feel well fed? Is this temperature comfortable? Um, is uh, the person sitting next to me a little bit smelly or not, etc.? Okay, so that is one. Uh, the second kind of happiness is called reflective happiness. So overall, if I think about my whole life, if I think about my relationships, if I think about my bank balance, if I think about my future prospects in my job, is everything looking good? Or um, are there some problems, okay? So this happiness I'm gonna measure now is called reflective happiness, and I'm gonna show you the scale. This is from a um, professor called Ed Diener. This scale has been cited over 10,000 times, okay, 10,000 times, that's a huge number in research. Okay, so you can pull out your workbook, and you'll see that there's the happiness scale. I'm gonna give you just two minutes. I'm gonna time you to fill out this happiness scale. Please fill it out authentically. Please fill it out honestly. It's very, very important to get a very good idea of your true happiness levels. Don't worry about the person sitting next to you, what they may think, etc. We are all a big family, okay? Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. This, this is a productivity scale, sorry. This is the productivity scale. Um, that's the scale that you have? Well, Product I'm working for myself, so I can't think of any good questions. Sorry? I'm working for myself. Oh, you're working for yourself, okay. Okay, that's fine. If you're working for yourself, that's fine. So the first scale is the productivity scale. Please fill that out. We'll get to the happiness scale in just a little bit. So what you do after you fill out all five items is you add up the total score. The maximum score is 35. The minimum score is five. Okay, two minutes are up. How many of you people need more time? Okay, everybody's filled it out. Wonderful. So let me share with you some results. Uh, this is from Gallup's uh, 142 country study. It shows that only 13% of the employees are categorized as engaged. Okay, and you can think of engaged uh, for the scale as a score above 25. Okay, so these are people who are really engaged. And in comparison, 24%, almost double, are disengaged. 
Okay, so this is a very, very important topic. And if you follow everything in uh, today's class, I can uh, uh, promise you these following things. First, you'll have a greater understanding of five things that have been proven in the science to be very important determinants of happiness. And you'll get a snapshot of your current levels of unhappiness and why you might be as happy or as unhappy as you are. Um, and third, very, very important, a scientifically validated plan for improving your happiness levels. And finally, because happier people are more productive, you will also be more productive in the future. 